Good morning, West Creek Stampers. This is Kay. Um, this is Wednesday, and gee, I forgot to look at the ca at the calendar at the date for today. Um, I think it might be around the twenty sixth. Um, I am just hopping on here to show you some cards and uh, show you how to make an explosion card. Um, my version of it i did watch a video on stamping on the back porch um karen and tim and i've made several of them since for some valentine cards and so forth this right here is one of the mini paper pumpkin boxes and this was from our moveless meeting on sunday this was one of the make and takes of the box and all of these cards that are within it and this set the paper and the stamps are from the celebration catalog and let me get that out of here for you you can get the paper and the stamps for a free with a purchase of $100 and let's see here it i must have passed it birds well let's see right here it is friendly hello um that stamp set and that paper is yours free if you purchase 100 dollars out of either catalog so um, these are Stampin' Up! snow cards, and these are the cards that we made from our Make and Take pack as demonstrators. If you sign up as a demonstrator, you can go to Jody's meetings also and sign up. Um, it's very reasonable. You can go to the meetings for free, but if you want the make and take pack and to be eligible for any of the um, prize patrol drawings and so forth, then you need to pay for the kit. This kit, believe it or not, was only $10. Um, if you want it mailed to you, it is $3. And of course, I um, had my own stamp set and so forth, and then she did give us this um, ribbon here also to use to make these cards but i just love them i think they're adorable and um the next thing i'm going to show you uh, many of you know our liza our chihuahua died last monday she was probably 16 or 17 years old i want to show you the cards that i got this week um in remembrance of liza and sympathy it is an adjustment to get used to in the evenings um the downtime i sat upstairs with liza and sugar stayed downstairs with my husband because we don't watch the same things on tv but aren't these cards so pretty okay so the card we're going to make the explosion card is like this and I used the extra heart and paper, six by six paper that I gave everyone for um, to, to use to make their um, challenge card for February. So this is how this goes. I made this for my granddaughter, Hallie, um, for her, um, she made the Dean's List, and this was a congratulations to her for making the Dean's List. I think she's made it just about every semester, but she is in her junior year this year at SHIP. So I'm going to show you here real quickly how to make that. Then I'm going to do some announcements. And I'm going to do a drawing. I'm going to make a couple of these. I'm going to do a drawing today. Um, for these folded ones, I think there'll be three of them. So Karen's formula, this is a six by six. You can do this with eight by eight or any other size actually that you want to use. 
I like the 6x6. Six six. It makes the card a little smaller than your normal card, but it makes a good use of your 12x12 12 12 papers you can get four. So the little rhyme is taco. And taco. Now I made several of these before I got the hang of it and got pretty easy. So taco, taco, and then you flip it over and you fold it this way, hot dog. This is how you can remember how to make your folds. So, so far we have taco, taco, hot dog, and we're going to take that and make a tent. It just folds. If you crease your fold lines with a bone folder, it folds very nicely into a tent. And the next one is house. Now you can see the center here. I need to keep looking at the the view out of the um, phone camera to make sure we're in. So you just fold each of these corners into the center and you want to get pretty close but it's not going to hurt anything. So that's your house. Okay. Sorry, I was out of there. I'm going to do this again for you. So then you take these corners and fold that in. And fold this in. And you, so you have four corners that you're folding in. And I actually sent one of these to my granddaughter in Chippensburg. Um, it got there with only one stamp. I sent her one December 10th for Christmas. From here to there is about six miles. It just got there after she got this one. Okay, so the card base for this that I used is three and a half by six and a half. And I used white for this one. Basic white. And all you do, actually, I have another one here that I have ready for this particular card base. So I'm gonna show you. Actually, all you do is glue this down back here, put glue on here, and fold that down, and your center is done. This is one of the ones I'll be giving away. I'm going to show you the one that I have ready with the insides and the fronts and put it together for you. So here we go. We want the side that you're going to see when you open it facing you. Okay, so we're going to do taco. Taco. And this sounds kind of silly, but it stuck with me and it helped me to remember how to to make the card. Taco, taco. Now, the biggest thing that I've made mistakes here is going ahead and folding the hot dog now. No, you turn it over. And here is your hot dog. Hot dog roll kind of looks like that. Okay, so we fold it over and all you do is push right in the middle of there. And we've got our tent. And what's the next thing on the list? House. So now to make the house, we're going to fold in the corners 
like this. And I, I really appreciate Karen and Tim. I appreciate all the demonstrators who get on and show their ideas. And she was very patient with through this. She went through this several times, just like I'm doing. Um, and you can always um, backtrack. You can always rewind. But there we go. Okay. And there's our house. Okay. And that's it. Taco, taco, hot dog house. So now I'm going to... And this is one of the things that I didn't have ready. I like to use Tombow here. Um, because it's a good strong glue. And you get some wiggle room. So I kind of centered that. I've got a little bit of room right here at the top. And at the bottom, probably about a quarter of an inch or a little less. Okay, and so then I am going to do this. And a lot of times I take my phone and weight it down. Today we're not going to do that, obviously. But I'm going to show you what else I have ready here. Um, I cut this out of the designer pa paper that is current right now called Sweet Talk. And those of you who get the paper shares, this is um, a good way to use your 6x6 making a small card. Now, I did just put this in a regular envelope when I put it in the mail. Okay, so on the front... I took, this is Blushing Bride, I believe. It's either Blushing Bride or Petal Pink. I believe it's Blushing Bride. So it is three and three eighths by three and one eighth. I like to put this on as like an accent piece. You can just put your designer series paper on there. And then you have a little bit of an edge around. And then next I put my designer series paper on here. And you can use either side. I chose to use this one. And I did use a little strategy when I um, cut this paper out so that I could get these Valentine hearts right in there. And then I used the dies from Amazing Thanks. And this, I do use a fair amount of thank you cards. And I'm gonna try to do this rather quickly. It has the bold background and then the um, the skinnier. So you could just use thanks, but doesn't it just pop? And I'm getting out of the way of the camera here. Doesn't it just pop when you put this layer on it and you don't it is cut that way, so it's a little smaller. You don't have to worry about staggering like we do sometimes when we're doing dies. And I put that on the front. All right. And then I use these resin heart embellishments. I'm not sure if they're current right now. I know they're, they've been around for a while. I'm not sure that you can get them. But I'm sure that you have something similar or or there's something similar in the catalog. So there's the front of our card. And then I have picked out um, just a card to say you're amazing. And that is from 
special moments. Special moments is another celebration um, item that you can get it free if you purchase a hundred dollars out of either of the catalogs. Now, this has a lot of nice st stamps on it. Thanks for brightening my day. Just a card to say you're amazing. I like that. Hang in there. It's okay to feel the feels. Um, Jody Breckpill often talks about feeling the feels. I couldn't wait for a special occasion. That would be just for a good, um, for an anytime card. Big congratulations. I think you're wonderful. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this in real red. And then this is what I put on the inside of my card. You can do varied things in here. You can just put a piece of paper in there if you want. And so I'm going to show you here how I put this together right here. And this fits right in here. I think that might just be a tiny bit longer than what it should be. And I'm smearing ink there because I didn't quite wait for that to dry. But um, you might want to cut your um, tag for the inside there before you stamp it, but I'm going to be okay with this, and I'm probably going to just put another heart right there, because that's what we do. Um, if we make a mistake, or if we have a smudge, which happens sometimes, then we cover it up. Okay, so I'm going to show you one more. Now, I think I'll use one of these. These are the ones that... Um, Lynette gave for me to share and to use for classes. Um, and so this is one I made like that. I'm going to do this. Okay, so the side that you want to see when you open it is looking at you. And we're going to go taco, taco. And so if you win the drawing today, if you make a comment, like and comment, I'm going to do a drawing for this one, this one, and this set. And I will give you the card base and um, the background and the DSP for the the front of here in case and um you can do your own stamping on the heart so back to the card we're doing taco taco flip it and hot dog okay now what is it tent Okay, so tent, and it really does work out better if you use your bone folder to crease. And then house is next. After you get home from tenting, you go in your house and you're so glad to have your own bed again. And I am so sorry. I'm not a videoer. I know I get out of your focus sometimes. But I'm doing the best I can here. And some of these girls really are fancy with their videos. And they have the words on there to share with you. So again, this is a 6 by 6 piece of printed paper and we're doing taco taco 
hot dog, tent, and house. And there you go, is another one. Okay. Um, hi, Diane. Yes, these are fun cards to make. Um, and it's a good way to use up some scraps that you have. And how happy are people when they get a card from you and it opens up just like this. So I want to thank everyone who is in my customer base um, because I earned something pretty special with the Moveless Stampers and that was the top seller for the year. Um, and this is what I got on the Horizon stamp set. I got two rolls of ribbon, the rhinestone, basic jewels, a pack of paper, not that. Okay, so um, these are the things that I earned and I just appreciate each and every one of you because without you, I could not have done that. Okay, so... I, the All Together Collection is coming, that is um, coming soon, and the blends for that are flesh colored, and I'm just going to grab that flyer here real quick. This is the All Together Collection. There are some new blends included with that. They will be staying um, and will be in the offerings. This is the stamp set and the framelits. And there is some paper with it. And then the blends. The blends are... Let's see what the tones are. Light, medium, light, medium, medium, deep, and deep. So that is coming for customers February 1st that you can order that. I want to congratulate Diane Koval for um, she was the first one to answer correctly all the questions in the scavenger hunt. And she is getting that cute little girl that is catching butterflies and she didn't have to spend $50 all she had to do was play along okay celebration is running until the end of February um, I just want to remind you of all of the offerings with celebration if you any $50 or $100 order you get free items out of this little catalog the other thing they have, if you host a $300 party or you have a $300 order, you can get this Calming Camellia stamp set for free. If you sign up during celebration as a demonstrator, you will get the $125 worth of items of your choice free plus two free stamp sets. So um, that's a good deal. Uh, that would be at least $175 value, depending on the price of the stamp set that you chose. Okay, I'm going to have something special in February. This is kind of to celebrate celebration um, and giving away some celebration items. Um, other years I have gone by the number of items um, or the dollar amount that you have spent and given away some things, but this time I'm going to have a a class the toward the end of February, February 24th, and we're going to make a um, one of these decorated boxes with some note cards. Um, five note cards will be in your box to decorate. We're, we're going to use, I believe, the Horizon paper. I haven't fully decided on that yet, but I believe we're going to use the Horizon paper um, when we make those cards, and then there will, will be 
some kind of em embellishment included. So you'll get the mini paper pumpkin box, five note cards, some kind of embellishment for $15. Um, also, we're going to play bingo. We're going to play five games of bingo that day, and I will be giving away some celebration items as prizes in that um, bingo. So the, the date is Thursday, February 24th. I'm going to have two sessions at 2 and 6 if we have enough people sign up. I, I will only have the class if I have six or more. So um, I wanted to try to spread it out, though, to give people opportunity to come at a time when it isn't so busy. And the cutoff will be 10 people per session. So um, that is coming in February 24th. And I will send out more information on that by email. I appreciate you all watching today and hope you can make some explosion cards on your own. Like and comment. And tomorrow, I usually like to make, wait like 24 hours to give everyone a chance to look at this. Tomorrow, I will choose a random winner from the comments. Have a wonderful day.